Hey guys, in preparation for this video, I was watching a lot of other home tours and a lot of them had the most perfect home. It was beautifully clean, beautifully designed. Perfectly lit. And to be honest, it made me feel this pressure that my home had to look that way and had to be perfect. And after I watched all those videos, I went into like a manic mode where all of a sudden I went to Tyler frantic and was like we need to redo our bedroom we need to like buy new pillowcases we need to do blah 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 and he was like where is all of this coming from and I just realized that I'm totally missing the point of what a home really is I think that happens a lot with social media where you see the most beautiful parts of a person's life and you start to feel like unless your life looks like that, you don't match up or you're falling behind or you're not doing something right. And that's not true and that's not real. And that was the idea that I bought into a little bit when I thought that our apartment needed to be perfect. You know, there was a moment where I was like, should I not even film this apartment tour? Should I just wait, you know, maybe in six months in my head when everything is done, which it won't be and when everything looks perfect and beautiful and the truth is that I don't know if it'll ever get there and also that's just not real life. There's always gonna be something that we wanna update. I think that it just goes to promote that idea that the grass is always greener on the other side or that you never have enough and I just wanted to stop myself in that track and say, you have enough right now. This year we've all spent way more time at home than we normally do and I it just has just made me think about what a home should be and for us, since we live in a city that's always busy and always bustling and always loud, our home is a place where we can come back to recharge and restore balance and feel a sense of calm and safety and it's already those things now and at the end of the day we are so grateful to have the space that we have to even be able to dream about updates that we can make to our space. That in and of itself is a position of privilege. Anyway, thank you for listening to all of that. Let's get on with the tour. I wasn't expecting you guys. Architectural Digest, come on in. Okay, let me grab this. This nifty old tripod that I set up myself. Okay, so a little information on our apartment before we get started and shout out to Tyler for helping me with this floor plan. The one that I made was not cute. So Tyler and I live in a two bed, one bath on the north side of Chicago. It's me, him, and we've also got two cats that I'm sure you've seen in some of my other videos. This is basically the first thing that you see when you enter the apartment. It's basically just a functional space for us to drop our things off before entering the house. To the left we have our bedroom, which we'll get to in a second, and then our living room, which is probably my favorite room in the house just because it gets so much sun. We've definitely spent the most amount of time decorating in here and trying to make it feel as cozy as possible. Building a home that's sustainable is super important to me, so everything in this room has either been thrifted or purchased secondhand. The room was kind of an awkward shape. It took a while for us to get the layout of the living room right, but I think that we finally found the orientation that makes the most sense. A couple years back, I got really into chess, so Tyler made me this wooden and concrete chess set for Christmas, and it's probably one of my favorite things in this house. This is probably my least favorite piece in our living room. It's an old Ikea couch that I basically just covered up with about $50 of drop cloth from Home Depot to give it a more modern, neutral look. You can definitely tell that it's homemade, but couches are really expensive and in the future we'd really like to invest in a nice piece but for now it gets the job done. If you guys saw my day in the life video you'll recognize this corner. This is where I've been doing a lot of my work lately. Normally I work in the office with Tyler but recently since the days have gotten warmer I've just been coming out here because it helps me to stay productive and inspired. 
Moving on into the bedroom, this is probably the room that we've spent the least amount of time fixing up. We basically just moved our bed in here and called it a day. You can see that I've got a rack of clothes by my bedside. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this setup. I'm definitely looking for an alternative considering right now I have to squeeze through all of them to get in bed. So if you guys have any ideas, please leave them below in the comments. I think in the future I'd like to get a pair of matching vintage light stands and maybe replace our lights with some cool looking sconces. If you keep going down the hall, you'll find our office. This is the space that I'm supposed to be in when I'm working. Since quarantine started, Tyler has been in here and has a lot of meetings every day, so I usually feel like I just wanna give him his space and I wanna take my space out in the living room. I thought it was funny how we both chose to decorate our sides of the shelves very differently. Right next door to the office is our one and only bathroom in the apartment. I actually really love this room a lot. I think being in here does give me a sense of calm because I practice a lot of self-care in here. I take baths pretty frequently and I get ready in the morning, I get unready at night. This is a rug by Cold Picnic that I am obsessed with. They always have a lot of these really lovely organic shapes on their rugs and I kind of used it as a token to decorate the rest of the bathroom by pulling out the greens and the plant and the oranges in the potters. And then I thought this checkered black and white towel added a nice pop to it all. I love how much light this window brings and that we can keep plants in here. This pothos plant has been growing like crazy recently and it's kind of starting to feel like you're showering in a rainforest. Last but most definitely not least, my favorite room in the entire apartment because all the magic happens here and by magic I mean all the amazing food is made in here. I think we spend the most amount of time in this room because we're always either cooking something or eating something. You can tell our little cactus friends are pretty happy here. These are some rocks that I collected on a trip to the southwest and I just wrapped them together with some string and made a little mobile. We are so grateful for how big of a kitchen it is. It's actually a super functional space. In the winter time when it gets really chilly in the house, the sun kind of just comes through these windows and usually I have the oven on and I'm making bread or I'm making something that requires a lot of heat and those two things warm up this area of the house. So I just have some fond memories of cozy meals inside and hosting friends and um, having good conversations in this room, in this space. I saw this one architectural digest where they toured Dakota Johnson's home and she had this beautiful record collection. Ever since I saw that video, I always loved the idea of replacing this buffet table with a similar long credenza. When we host guests, we'd have them pick out a record that they like and put it in the turntable and we just kind of get to listen to that while we ate dinner together. Hey guys, so I'm editing and I realized that I totally forgot to film an outro except now I'm not in that cute yellow dress. I'm in my pajamas and I don't have any plans of getting back in that yellow dress anytime soon. So this is the outro that you guys are gonna get. In all seriousness though, thank you guys for following along. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.